Hello, this is Steve True with Excel-Templates.com, uh, where you get some great videos to create wonderful charts in Excel that you can use in your dashboards. Uh, please don't forget to sign up for my YouTube channel. Also, we have other great uh, resources available for you at Excel-Templates.com. Okay, so what we're going to show you today is how to make a conditional trend line. So you can see I've got a column chart right here, 2D column chart, and I've got a trend line that we've added, which is a function in Excel. Uh, however, I have made this a yellow line, and uh, that's because the trend right now is flat. Uh, if I change some data here, let's put a 2 in for the next data point, you can see now we're trending down as the trend line shows, and the trend line changed to red. And if I go ahead and change it to 11, our trend is going up now, and the trend line has changed to green. So how do we go about doing that? I'm going to show you right now. So let's go ahead and look at the data set. Okay, so we're over here at our data set, and let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. Uh, in column A, we have our categories for our horizontal axis. In column B, uh, we have our data points, and this is where we're going to just keep adding more data points, and the trend is going to change as new data is added. What we're doing with column C is we're going to be using this in our trend calculation as what's called our known X's. Uh, we're not going to show you much about the trend function in this one, so you'll want to go I get some other tutorials if you want to know how the trend formula works, or you can just download this file and copy what I've done. Uh, it should work just fine. Uh, what we're going to do next is in column D, E, and F, we're going to plot these series in our 2D column chart, and this is actually how we're going to build our different trends. Uh, this first one has a formula in column D, and it's got the trend formula, and we're inserting an offset function to find out how many data points do we actually have. You can see that right here in this offset function. And it's going to calculate the trend of this uh, and find out uh, which way is the next data point in our trend. Uh, if it's greater than uh, our current trend, uh, then we're going to say it's trending up and we're going to plot the information here. If it's not going up, it's going down, we're going to plot the information here. And then this one is if it's equal to uh, our current trend, so we're not, uh, we're just flat, we're not trending up or down. Uh, and you can see right now we've got a data point of 5, 6, 7, and then 7, 6, 5, so uh, our trend is really flat. It, we've got equal data points on both sides, so it should be a flat calculation when we draw the chart. So let's go ahead and show you how we draw the chart, and if you want to learn more about the offset function, you can find a tutorial on my website at excel-dashboardtemplates.com. Uh, we want to highlight now for the chart, we're going to highlight from column A2 down to F14. We're going to go up to our insert ribbon. We're going to choose a column, and we're going to choose a 2D clustered column type. So it's created our chart. Let me move it up so you can see it next to the data. Now it's plotted all of the different columns, and we don't want all of the columns. We said we don't want column B because uh, this is not going to give us our dynamic chart lines. Uh, it's just the starting data set, so we're going to go ahead and find that one and delete it. And so that one's called Costs. It's dark blue. I'm going to click on Costs and hit my Delete key. Also, it's charting column C, which is our counter for our trends, and we don't need that right now. So let's uh, go ahead and click on that and then hit your Delete key. So we're getting similar to what we saw on the sample. Uh, and now what we need to do is we need to add a trend line to this series. So click on uh, the chart, then right click on your series. You will see an add trend line right here. And uh, it's now added a trend line to this chart. If you look over here, it's got a linear chart type uh, for the trend line, and that's fine. Uh, I like to show the equation and the R squared, which shows how relevant uh, the trend is, is it uh, the closer to one, uh, the better the trend is an actual portrayal of the future. So let's go ahead and also we're going to change the line color. So if you go to the line color options, this is a flat trend line and we wanted this one to be yellow. So we're going to change it to a solid line and we're going to change it to yellow in our standard colors. Uh, line style I like to change as well and I like to change that to like two or three point. I'll change it to three point here so you can see it and uh, now you can see our trend line right there. Uh, so looking pretty good. We've got our flat yellow trend line. Let's click on the uh, blue columns and let me right click on that and do format data series. 
uh, as you can see in the chart, it's off. It's not in the center. Uh, and it's going to continue to do that because it's the third data series. There's trend up, trend down, and trend flat. We want this to be centered and we want it to be a little bit wider. Easiest way to do that is just to come over here and right click on it, do format data series, and then move your overlap to 100%. So you could also just type in 100% there and it'll show up on your chart centered uh, and it looks good. So that will overlap all the series and it'll look like we just have one series of columns, not three. Let's go ahead and close that one down. Now what we need to do to see our other plot points and change colors and things, it's easiest if we just add some data. Let's put a two in here. Uh, and now the chart is trending down. However, uh, there's no trend line because it's a different chart series. If I click on it, you see this is the trending down series. Let's right click on that series and format it. Let's change the fill of that one to a solid fill. And uh, then let's right click on it again and do an add trend line. And we want to make this trend line color a solid line and change it to red. We want to change our line style to three points. Uh, also, I forgot I was going to add the equations to this as well. So it looks like the line is changing dynamically. All right, we're getting pretty close. Um, what we want to do now is uh, uh, change it, our data point and make it go up. So let's do that 11. And you can see our uh, point's been added and our trend line's gone because we're as we click on the chart, You'll see it's doing the trend up column. So let's right click on that, do format data series. We want to make this look like every other series, so we're just going to make solid fill and make sure we pick that blue color so it looks like all of those. Uh, then I can right click on this again, do add a trend line. There's our trend line. We want to add an equation and an R, R factor. We've got a line color. We want to change this not from red because it's going up. We want to make it bright green, give it a line style of 3, click on close. Uh, so let's go back and look at our data. Let me delete that. So uh, we now have a chart. Um, let me get rid of this chart drunk too. Click on the legend and then hit your delete key. So uh, when the uh, equation, or I'm sorry, when your data it has a flat trend, it's going to show yellow. If I change this to 11, it's going to be green because the trend is up. If I change it to 2 for the next data point, the trend is down for the next data point, and it shows red. And so it's kind of that simple. We're not going to plot the costs. We're actually going to move the cost information over to columns D through F using the trend function and a formula you can get in that other spreadsheet. Uh, and if it is not up, we're going to make it a pound NA, which Excel will not plot. If it is up, down, we're, we're going to plot it here, uh, and if not, it, we're going to do it as an NA, which will not plot, and then likewise with flat. So you can kind of see how this chart works. Real cool little trick there that you can make your dashboard templates dynamic with a trend line uh, showing color for your management. Please remember to visit my blog and sign up as a user so that you're sure to get the latest and greatest charting technique for Excel. Thank you very much and hope to see you at excel-templates.com.